Welcome to another episode of Photo Enthusiastic. I'm your host, Jim Fair, photoenthusiastic at gmail.com. Well, today I'd like to go through once again how to downgrade from Mac OS Mojave to Mac OS Sierra. So, step one, have a backup and have a redundant backup, not just one, because what if that one drive should fail? We talked about this before. So, two drives, two separate drives, not just two partitions on the same drive. You, again, have a possible single point of failure there. That's what you want to avoid when you're doing a backup. And then, step two, we boot up with the option key down, and we select the installer of our choice, which is going to be Sierra. So, um, of course, in step two, you've got to create that installer first. And I'll throw up a video on the screen here that shows you how to do that. It has to be an external device, either a uh, USB stick, such as uh, one of these I have in my pocket. So we have a little Samsung 64 gig. We have a SanDisk 64 gig. These little guys would be fine, or an external hard drive or external solid state drive. I myself am using a Samsung T5 solid state drive, uh, one terabyte, which is, you know, 400 and some odd Canadian dollars. So it's not cheap, but boy, is it ever fast. It's great when you're redoing your system to have a fast device. So here we have. Um, sort of like the recovery screen. And uh, this is Sierra's installer, basically. So instead of selecting install or disk utility, we're gonna to go to the utilities menu and select terminal. And we're gonna enter the infamous command. First of all, command shift plus sign, so you can see what on earth I'm doing here to make the screen bigger. So it's disk util is the command we are calling, space, and then APFS, Apple File System, space, list. Enter this command, hit the return key, and it lists a bunch of gobbledygook. And then we scroll back, and you see there's only one container, and this is the container's ID number, or name, if you will. You can see, hey, this is the 500 gig internal drive on this 2016 MacBook Pro. So we're going to copy this, so we're going to highlight it and Command C to copy or go up here to the copy item in the edit menu. Then we're going to hit the up arrow to recall the last command, disk utility APFS list. Hit the delete key four times to get word, rid of the word list. And then we type in delete container with the case like that, a small d, a capital C, space, and then Command-V to paste in the name of that APFS container. Once we hit return, off it goes to delete the volume, the preboot, the recovery, and the VM containers inside the APFS volume, and it reformats the drive for HFS+. Plus. Command-Q to get out of the terminal. Double-click double -click our way back into Disk Utility. And one more time, we're just going to erase the drive. I'm just going to call it SSD. See how it says Mac OS Extended Journal and GYD Partition Map. If you go into here, you can see there's something called Apple Partition Map. And at first glance, you think, oh, I should be using that because I'm you know, using an Apple, right? But actually, Apple Partition Map is a very old format, uh, pre-2006. And uh, Master Boot Record is for Windows, and GUID is what we want for a modern Intel-based Mac. Okay, also, if you look at the format here, we have a number of choices, but the correct one is journaled, Mac OS Extended Journal, non-encrypted, non-case sensitive, uh, and certainly not these other options, which are Windows-oriented. So journaled is what you want. You can always encrypt it later. 
I don't recommend that, but uh, feel free. Click erase. And we are done. Command Q, our way out of disk utility. Double click to run the installer. And here we are ready to run the Sierra installer. Here it is, Mac OS Sierra. Let's set up your Mac. Continue. Agree. Agree. Select the target drive, which is SSD. You can see I have some other partitions here on my external. Click install and away it goes. So now we're, no, we're installing Sierra. Now I have two Time Machine backups just in case anything goes wrong. Now I don't tend to use Time Machine on the restore side because I find the Migration Assistant is a, is a program that, uh, shall we say, has had many bugs in the past. Uh, they're constantly improving it. Uh, the one in Mojave is pretty good now, but uh, the one in Sierra has got a lot of bugs. And I would just steer clear of it unless you really need it. If you really need it, go ahead, but keep in mind you may have some challenges. Mojave itself has been very stable on .0. Um, I'm using the .1 beta because I'm in the, the public beta program. And I find it uh, pretty stable. I mean, I've had a little odd issue here and there with uh, the old Adobe Bridge, 2018 Bridge. Um, but Adobe has just released uh, Creative Cloud 2019. And I'm assuming the bug and bridge uh, import is gone. Although I haven't tested it yet. So. Why would you want to downgrade? Well, there are a lot of reasons, but I, I think the big one is software compatibility. So if you find something that just doesn't work in the latest OS and you want to go back a version or two uh, to ensure the piece of software you're using does work, then this is how you go about doing it.